I like, uh, I like theme parks. I'm a big uh, ride enthusiast. But to me, the best thrill rides are at the state fair. Yeah. They say you feel most alive when you're closest to death. You don't get much closer to death than the rides at the fair. You go to Six Flags, it takes a team of engineers years to build a ride. There's diagrams, schematics, safety precautions. None of that at the fair. You go down the midway, you got the non-OSHA approved construction crew putting up a tilt-a-whirl in the back of a flatbed pickup truck. Armed with just a broken pair of vice grips, a can of WD-40, and a weak command of the English language. <laughs> you know it's gonna be a thrill ride looking down the trash can and see some loose bolts and empty roll of duct tape. <laughs> That's gonna be a good ride on the Gravitron. <laughs> and if the rides at the fair don't kill you, the food will, won't it? Woo, <laughs> deep fried Twinkies, deep fried Oreos. I thought I'd seen everything. They had a booth at the fair selling deep fried butter. Yeah, you've seen it. They take a whole stick of butter, batter it, fry it, put it on a stick like a little artery blocking her nerve. Now I'm no doctor, but if you're eating deep fried butter, you have really let yourself go. You don't care if you live or die, like here's five bucks, let's see what happens. Hey, you only live once, not for long. I'm trying to eat healthier. It's hard, I come from a big family. Whenever we get together over the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas, we always have the potluck dinner. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of the potluck. There's a reason why that word luck is in there, isn't it? You don't know what you're eating or who made it. You don't know if that hair in the casserole is human or animal, you don't know. Could be off somebody's head, could be from a cat. They're like, oh, that's just corn silk. Corn silk? This corn got a perm. <laughs> Ain't nobody braiding corn silk. And the food's so unhealthy at the potluck, my, my Aunt Margaret, I don't even know how this is possible, she can make a chocolate pie that smell like cigarettes. <laughs> now how much do you have to smoke to make a chocolate pie smell like cigarettes? I'm like, mm, is that Marlboro meringue? <laughs> Just a hint of nicotine. <laughs> My grandma could turn anything into junk food. Take some green beans off the vine, saute them, some pork fat, cover some velveted cheese, sprinkle some fried onions on top, call it a green bean casserole. <laughs> She'd be like, come and get your veggies. <laughs> veggies, grandma, we can deep fry that and serve it at the fair. Trying to pass it off as a vegetable is like making a milkshake out of Skittles and calling it a fruit smoothie. <laughs> Who are you fooling? And my family, they can eat, they take that plate and pile it up high, get that greasy fried chicken, some mashed potatoes, cover the whole plate and gravy like a little cholesterol volcano. <laughs> and then they'd always ask that same blessing, Lord bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies. Nourishment? Now, I know the Lord works miracles, but you have got to meet him halfway. <laughs> the Bible says your body's a temple, not a drive through <laughs> Jesus fed the multitude with five loaves and two fishes, not five dozen Krispy Kremes and two buckets of KFC. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Yeah. All right.